Good morning, friends. Welcome to Spirit Play today. It's so good to be here together. Should we light our chalice? Oh, let's sing our welcome song first. Welcome, 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 welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. It's time to say hello now, hello now, hello now. It's time to say hello now to all of our friends. Good morning, friends. You know, if you were here with me and I tried to light the chalice first, you would remind me, I know. <laughs> you really know how to keep track of the way class goes. I'm so happy to be with you this morning. Why don't you say good morning to the people that you're with this morning? Good morning. Say hi to your family this morning. Wonderful. You can keep good morning together and let's light our chalice. We light this chalice as a symbol of our faith, the light of truth and the warmth of love. Hmm. Are you ready for our peace greeting? Remember, I'll say it first and you say it back. I offer you peace. I offer you friendship. I offer you love. I see your beauty. I hear your needs. I honor the wisdom in you. Come, let us wonder together. Oh, friends, I have been wondering and wondering about you. How are you doing? Some of you may already be back at kindergarten at school. Some of you may still be at home most of the time. The world is changing and changing. I'm so happy to be with you today. What are your joys and sorrows today? Michelle and I have not heard from you, so we are using our imagination and we're thinking about all the birthdays that must be happening. And we're thinking about how it's fun to play outside. And we're thinking about how sad it is that we can't see our family still most of the time. And we can't be back here at church together. So for some of those joys, being outside, being together, spring is coming. I know it's going to take a while, but I'm dreaming in the future already. And some of the sad things, like we can't be here together in our spirit playroom all together yet. If you've got some joys and sorrows this morning, please just share with your family. And if you remember, you can send some in to Michelle and I on an email. It would be really fun to hear all about your joys and sorrows and what's happening for you these days. Until then, we'll keep each other inside our hearts for all the joys and all the sorrows. It's time for our story today. Last week's story was about families. And this week's story is also about a family. Let's see. What do we have this morning? Hmm. Let me start with this. 
Oh. Do you remember last week when we had a circle? And I said the circle reminded me of community. But this circle is gold. Sometimes in spirit play, we use the gold color to talk about a mystery. And our story today starts right in the center of a great mystery. Our story begins with a mother and her child. This mother loved her child deeply and she was very worried because she was worried that she couldn't give this child everything the child would need to grow up healthy and well and strong. She worried and worried and worried and then she talked to someone called a caseworker and she said, I love my child very, very much, but I'm worried that I can't give my child everything they'll need to have a beautiful, healthy life. The caseworker listened and listened and understood. The caseworker said, let's see what we can do. The mother decided to give her child up for adoption. No one knows why this happens. And it can sometimes be a sad and beautiful and complicated decision. What is going to happen to our baby? I don't know. I do know that when this baby came into the world, just like all babies, it had a fingers and toes and a tickly belly. This baby had its mother's dimples and its father's ears. This baby now would not be able to start its life with its mother. She gave him for adoption. Let's hold on to our sweet baby for a little while and we'll see what else is happening in this story. At the same time, there are two grown-ups. They talked and talked and talked they had so much love that they wanted to create a family. They decided they wanted to adopt a child. They were so excited. They dreamed and dreamed about what it would be like to have a family with a child. They wanted the sound of laughter of a child in their family. When their child got sad, they wanted to cuddle and stroke them and hug them and make everything okay. They wanted to create something bigger with more love than just the two of them. They talked to the caseworker and they said, we have so much love we want to share and we want to adopt a child. The caseworker listened. She talked more to the couple and got to know them and said, I can see that you have a lot of love that you are wanting to share. Let's see what we can do. And something wonderful happened. Even though it was sad that the baby had to start its life without its birth mother, the baby was introduced to the other couple wanting a child. And something amazing happened. They fell in love. 
And they became a family. This baby will always have its mother's dimples and its father's ears. And now it has a parent who cooks his favorite breakfast in the morning and a parent to play games with. Sometimes in a great mystery, something that starts out sad can make room for something that turns out quite wonderful. Sometimes in a mystery, the sadness and the happiness can cuddle up in our hearts and make a bigger space for love in the world. Friends, what was the best part of this story this morning? Friends, what do you think is the most important part of this story this morning? If you were someone or something in this story this morning, who or what would you be? And friends, I wonder, I wonder if there's any part of this story that we could leave out and still have all the story that we need. Life can sometimes be so beautiful and so complicated all at the same time. It's time to go work with our story this morning. For your work time, I wonder how you'll think about this story. I wonder how this story might talk to the story that we told last time. Feel free to pause the video until you're done with your work time and then come back and we'll end our class together. Hello friends. It is the end of our class today. It's been so good to be with you. I'm so glad that we've been here together. <laughs> Shall we sing our goodbye song? And then we'll unlight our chalice. Oh no, we usually do do this first. Let's unlight our chalice and then sing our goodbye song. That's the right order, I think. Although we extinguish the light of this chalice, we know that the light of truth and the warmth of love go with us in our hearts. Go now in peace, go now in peace. May the spirit of love surround you everywhere, everywhere you Go. go now in peace, go now in peace. May the spirit of love surround you everywhere, everywhere you may 
go. Take care, friends. We'll see you next time.